Today, I wanna to show you two ponds, and they are both near my home. I pass by these ponds often and have watched them for years. They are both located in an industrial park and are used as retention ponds for stormwater runoff. This is the first one, and its shoreline is covered with cattails, which is the number one plant for removing nitrogen. There's also a good amount of spatter dock on this pond as well. This is another native plant that is very good about taking nutrients out of the water. But its real importance is that spatter dock's big leaves offers shade and creates habitat for all the creatures living in this pond. Despite being a dumping ground for industrial businesses, this water is pretty clear. You can see the bottom in a couple feet all the way around the perimeter. This pond has clearly not been sprayed with any herbicides, so let's fly over to the second pond, because unfortunately, this one did get sprayed with herbicides. As you can see, this is only a few hundred feet away, but it looks very different than the one we just saw. This pond is much bigger and has a lot more businesses around it, so it probably receives a lot more nutrients. So Mother Nature put a lot more plants in this pond. She chose spatter dock and this pond was covered with it and it was as healthy as the pond that I just showed you. Unfortunately, some idiot from the Martin County government decided that Mother Nature was wrong and ordered this spray job and ultimately destroyed this pond. I doubt there is much alive in this pond, and if there is, it probably isn't doing very well. All the spatterdock stems have been burnt and some of the roots have floated up. I'm sure there will be a lot more roots that will float up later as these plants continue to die off. If you are wondering what this pond used to look like, I am about to show you because the clowns that did this missed a spot. This is what this pond used to look like. It was almost solid spatter dock and it was full of life. I used to see lots of ducks and other birds on this pond, but today it is completely lifeless. All levels of our government is addicted to herbicides. Our local county governments all the way to the federal government has been infiltrated by the chemical companies. And if we don't stop them, there won't be anything left of our environment. This is happening all over the state. So I am asking everyone to film any pond that has gotten sprayed and then post these images. Let's flood social media with these heartbreaking pictures so we can put an end to this madness.